One of the little known tricks about the Kindle is that you can actually read different types of content and books other than just those that you pick up from Amazon. So there are a few ways you can go about doing this and I want to talk about how I make use of reading PDFs on my Kindle and get the most out of it. And at first it might sound like it's a bit of a pain to read a PDF on the smaller screen size of your Kindle rather than on a larger iPad or on your desktop computer. But there are a few ways that you can actually make this much more readable on the Kindle that I like to make use of quite a bit. If you're reading something like a research paper or a book that's formatted as a PDF with a lot of white space around the edges of the text, then it can certainly be annoying to have to pinch and zoom a whole bunch to read and be able to see the, the text that's on the page. But you can actually convert PDFs into the Kindle formatted books, which I find is useful for pretty much everything from worksheets that I get from courses that I take to some research papers that I want to reference again and anything else that you can think of that's in a PDF format, you can actually convert and this is how you do it. So first up, you want to go into the settings on your Kindle and underneath the your account is where you're going to find the send to Kindle email. Now I like to do this on my desktop because you can actually go in and change this email address to something more memorable than what it's set as as a default so that it's easier for you to use your email application to fire off those PDFs whenever you want to. Then all you have to do is drag and drop any PDF file into whatever you use to send emails and send it to that email address that's listed for your Kindle device. Make sure that you also add in the subject line the word convert. This is what's going to allow Amazon and Kindle to convert that file into the native Kindle format rather than just sending the PDF directly to your device, which is something you can also do for certain things. Again, if you want to be able to pinch and zoom, maybe it's something like a map for a book that you're reading like The Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones and you want to be able to reference those maps on your device, but otherwise I find that it's very useful to convert it into the Kindle format before I actually send those PDFs. And this can work surprisingly well for a lot of research papers, especially once you're familiar with the formatting of the typical journal article because, you know, there's going to be some conversion issues with things like the tags or the keywords that are related or the different sections, but I find that it works really well to get the majority of the text from a journal paper into a very readable and highlightable format rather than just trying to pinch and zoom if you want to read it on your Kindle. But my most favorite way to make use of this is with any course notes from any courses that I'm taking. And this may be the worksheets or workbooks that you get with a course that has a lot of text to read. Or another thing is I'm currently doing a long master health coaching certification and there's a lot of text and lecture notes from each week. So what I do is I compile those all together week by week into files on Evernote and then I export them as PDFs there, which I can then easily read on my Kindle so that I can take notes on whatever it is that I find most useful and helpful from the course. And this has been helpful for any of the assignments and quizzes that we have to do for the course but also because there's hundreds and hundreds of pages. So it's not really realistic to go and print these all out, but at least I can get it closer to a natural page format by putting it on the Kindle because they didn't provide us with a printed workbook or anything like that. If you've liked this video, you'll also like this one up next where I talk about why I've switched to Kindle from reading physical books. And thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next one, find your flow.